Hello everybody, this is Kill Me Horde, and I'm here with another episode of Call of Cthulhu, The Dark Corners of the Earth. I'm starting from the main menu today because I know where I'm going to spawn and I will have a situation to deal with. I have found out some useful information though on where I need to go and what I need to do. So you see what I could do? You see that guy over there? It's facing away from me. This man right here. I can just bunk us him, he's dead. Same with this guy. Watch. He's fucking dead. Now in here, I do have to be sneaky breaky. Or they will kill me. Like right in here, I actually have to be in stealth mode and walk through this entire thing. So, yeah. Well, in the meantime of me doing this, I can, um, I can talk about some things. So in my previous, uh, not in the previous video of this, but in the last video I uploaded, that would have been the Binding of Isaac video or something. Um, I complained about how there was no Count Chocula and no Booberry on the shelves of my local stores. But, quite literally, the day after I complained about it, I walk into the store, and there it is. The Count Chocula, the Booberry, all of it. It's all there. The Frankenberry is there. The Fruit Brute's there. It's all there. So I have nothing to complain about now. Like, I won't, I won't complain at all now. So, well, I don't know, you know? I just got all the stuff I need. I hear you walking, you f little fuck. So what I need to do is I'm, I'm going to have to wait for him, okay? I'm going to have to wait for him. Do you remember those staircases? That staircase from the last episode? I'll wait right here until he passes by again. But uh, that staircase in the last episode, I saw two guys up top and I was like, nah, I don't want to do that. That's where I need to go. There's a save point in there. That's what I've been told. But there's a whole ass save point in there and all I have to do is kill those two and shoot open the window and get in there. And these fish people will not be able to follow me. Oh, here he comes. Okay, okay. I gotta be all sneaky, you know? I don't get stuck on the fucking net. God damn it. This isn't what I wanted. I tried to reload. What the fuck ammo did I just pick up? Was it rifle? It was rifle. So that's the icebox. The icebox has the Tommy gun. Okay. They're supposed to be able to break. Stop him. I don't know exactly what just killed me there. That was baloney. God damn it. I hate this. I, I really hate this sequence. This sequence is so freaking garbage. Search everywhere. 
I, d I realized why I died so quickly there. You wanna why? You wanna why? Look at this, look at this. Look at this. You remember this? I'm injured. I forgot that I was injured. And that's why I'm breathing so heavy, because I'm injured. This all makes sense now. I was just a buffoon all along. Alright, time for the long stealth sequence. Let's see, is there anything else I need to talk about? Um, um, yeah, sure. There is other things I have to talk about. This game is apparently a lot longer than I originally thought it was. I thought I was getting close to the ending here. Apparently, I'm not even, like, halfway. I'm not, I'm not even at the halfway point. There's, like, a whole boss fight and stuff after a few more chapters. I'm only on, like, chapter three or four. It's a much longer game than I originally anticipated it to be. Oh, I might be able to time this nice. Because he's walking up right now. Alright, just to verify, this is what ammunition I have. 36, 24, 5, and 50. I'll pick that up. Alright, alright. It was revolver rounds. Okay. I don't know. I'm gonna reload. Okay. I have to make sure I'm loaded up for this. So I can kill this man. I'm gonna kill these two guys at the top of the stairs and I'm gonna fucking go in that room. Let me sneak you up on him, you know what I mean? Don't move, Shiner. Fuck off! This is what I was looking for. They can't come out here because of the elder sign. The star symbol is the elder sign. They cannot come out here. They hate it. They hate it so bad. It's locked. Okay. So now I got me a new point. A new, a new place, right? Fucking get in there. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. Ammunition. Okay, Tommy Gun's in there. I know Come that. Here. Up here. Come up the stairs. Hide behind the pillar. Hide behind the pillar. Bam! Bam! Die. What is that? Oh, 
I know you're an actual transformed fish, so you don't die as quickly. Hey, come up here. I'm gonna go heal real quick because they can't they can't do much about it. I only have one suture. I'm trying to kill all the guys. If I if I kill all of them right now, then I don't have to deal with half of them anymore. If I just kill all of them right now. Get the fuck away, Mike. This microphone was way too close, it's picking up my audio too loudly. I don't want to waste all my shotgun shells. Whatever. So Tommy guns in here somewhere. Get right here. Tommy gun, some pistol. That pistol reloaded, you know? Here's my Tommy gun. I got 100 rounds. And the weapon holds 50, so this thing has uh, two mags. It won't open. And we're gonna do a quick save real quick, and I'll go out there and kill all the people with the Tommy gun. Other than that, I really have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. Cause up here doesn't really help at it's all. It's locked. It's Nothing of small. interest here. Oh, uh, uh, I have to find the key for that. Uh, the key, um, the key is uh, downstairs, downstairs somewhere. By the people who were walking around. I hope I killed most of them. I didn't kill the guy walking. He's dead. Good. Canned fish. <laughs> at least you can't smell them. Yeah, at least you can't. Um, where would the key be? Where would the key be? He would be somewhere around here. You think, right? I don't know where the key would be at. I'm just kind of looking. I might have missed it. Okay. No key? The key? Hello? Key? I need a key. Crates of decomposing canned fish. <laughs> the stench of rotting fish is crates of decomposing dead fish. Crates of dead fish, yes. It's very dark for you. I can't tell what half the things are here, so I'm trying to figure it out. This is not uh this is not working out as planned. I was well, it is because they're all dead, but it isn't because I can't find the key. Can't see anything of use. Yeah, I can't either. The key's supposed to be somewhere around here. Um, is it is it in here? Is it in the ice box? The stench of rotting fish yeah. has become all too familiar. This chute must be where the fresh fish Whoa. comes into the building to be canned. Health kit. No, more ammunition. Not health kit. My bad, my bad, my bad. I need health kit. Um, 
You know what? Legitimately, I'm going to Google this where the key is because this is uh, kind of bad for me at the moment. Go to our handy dandy walkthrough that I can't read. Never mind. I, I legitimately can't read this. Uh, warehouse, uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't, I can't read this. Uh, I'm gonna have to actually Google. Like, on the computer. Let's see, let's see what I can get. Um, we passed the weapons. We passed chapter one and chapter two, because I'm on chapter three, I think. Chapter two is a long one. Oh no, I'm on chapter four, okay. Warehouse, um. Let's see. Um, crowbar windows, hop to stay spot. Use the power to make the fishmen cower. They can't follow you into the safe hallway anyway since they can't vault or mantle. Peck them to death with your handgun. Excluding the two jackasses on the second floor landing, there should be five more enemies. Once you wipe them out, there are no enemies in this immediate area. Heal, save, and explore as much as you desire. There are two ammo pickups and Thompson's in the lighthouse. Uh, so I need to locate the boxes next to the ice house and duck move to the storage area. There are no enemies here yet and you need to backtrack to the safe spot at the top of the stairs to rescue Ruth before she dies. The time sequence starts as soon as you take the key. Okay. Hello? The game crashed. Good thing we saved, right? Play. Yeah, you guys get to see the startup sequence this time because it crashed. It's made by Bethesda. Go ahead, game. I believe in you. I don't care about the first one. You see other people who worked on it. Head first production. Um, a warning. An opening sequence. And then there. All right, all right, so where I'm supposed to go is very easy. And since everybody's dead, there should be no issues. Or do I, do I, I don't, I don't remember if I saved after I got the pickup or not. I don't think I did. Let me get the ammo. I got the ammo. There is, uh, the, the way through was actually at the door over here. There's just like a, a path I can get, yeah. Path I could get through here. And according to the walkthrough, there won't be any enemies for a minute until I pick up the key. Okay, so I have to get back here. A ASAP after I pick up the key. I have to get back there immediately as fast as possible. There's the key. Is that more rifle? Make 
sure you're all loaded. I don't lose ammunition by reloading, so... There's just no ammunition counter. This definitely needs a reload. Can I possibly No, okay, so I can't I can't cheese it by sneakily getting in that way. I have to go through the middle. So if I want to save Ruth, I have to pick up the key and Bomb rush it there. I'm gonna do that. Jack, I'm up here. You're gonna die. Ruth, what the hell are you doing up there? I must have been followed. They stormed inside just moments ago. There was gunfire outside. I only just managed to climb up here and threw the ladder down to escape. I'm trapped up here, Jack. The door's padlocked, and this ledge isn't gonna hold for much longer. I don't wanna die, Jack. Help me! Don't Keep worry, back. I'll get I'll you. Figure something out. I can hear something. Find him. He's bound to float everywhere. Runs. Fucking move! Let me move. Search everywhere. Show yourself up. Show yourself up. Everywhere. Find him. Okay, just let them run in. Don't don't fuck it. Because they can't crouch, they can't get in here. I need to heal bad. Let's get a splint on it so I can move again. I don't want to bleed out, so... Separate save this time. Just in case, you know? And the door was over here. It's unlocked. I got this, I got this, I got this, I just can't Help look me, down. Jack. I just can't look down. Just can't look down. The, pad, the padlock's old and rusted. Let's get the hell out of here. Lead the way. Come on, Ruth. Ruth! You dumbass. Come on out here, Ruth. Alright. I'm gonna fix that with the band-aid. There's nobody here. Shut up here, shut up. Okay, now I'm lost. Come on, Ruth. Hurry the hell up. Seriously, you gotta wait all the way back there. See, I saved Ruth. She was gonna die. There's a bridge out of town not far from here. Just hold on. God, is this another car sequence? Oh, Brian fucking died. Oh, they both fucking died. <laughs> what was the point of me saving Ruth? The walkthrough lied to me. Hello, doctor. My good friend. Doctor, doctor. Oh. That wasn't creepy to look at at all.
Yeah, let's let's uh let's just put him in this room. Can I move? I can't move. I thought I could look around and be a dingus. Yes. Did I ask for your damn opinion? Remember who funds this damn nut house? Very well. Hardstrom? Dr. Eric Hardstrom? The feds are injecting me with chemicals. He's awake. Ah, Mr. Walters. Our friends in the Boston PD hold you up as quite the hero. Before you went all screwy, that is. Yeah. I don't like heroes, Mr. Walters. And I don't care for your opinions, whoever the hell you are. J. Edgar Hoover, from the Bureau. J. Edgar and considering Hoover your position, Mr. Walters, himself. you best mind your manners. Now, what was your business in Innsmouth? Just stopping in on some broad. I was feeling down on my luck. Needed the company. Ah, bullshit. There are only two types of folks that visit Innsmouth. Criminals and fools. Why'd you punch And you me? don't seem like a fool. Appearances can be deceptive. I see. Dr. Hardstrom, if you'd be so kind. What? What is he doing? Hardstrom. Ah, I'm being electrocuted. What did I do, Hardstrom? I've always been a nice patient to you, and you had to electrocute me because J. Edgar Hoover said so. How dare you listen to the feds? Wake him up. No. Oh yeah, I'm unconscious. Pumping me full of adrenaline or something, boy? Just charge me with something, because I don't know nothing. You don't know nothing? Does that mean you know something? You're not gonna stop, Mr. Walters. So you may as well level with me. I already told you. It was nothing. A missing person case, and I needed the dough. Hello, creepy-ass child. Go away. Hoover? Hoover? Hey, what do you inject me with now? <laughs> Good night, Doctor. Hardstrom. I was only checked in for one night, and I had to blow the joint in the early hours. Seems the locals didn't take kindly to my snooping. For Christ's sake, Walters. Is it normal in your line of work to break a punk out of the can and breeze out of town in a stolen car? Only on the good days. But not normally, no. I've had a shitty night, Hoover. So I really appreciate you cutting me some slack. What's the Bureau's beef with Innsmouth, anyway? Widespread criminal activity, Mr. Walters, and half the damn towns involved. Our government's never had to handle something on this scale before, but they won't sanction a full-scale operation without more evidence. Well, I appreciate the bedtime story. Yeah. I don't see where I come into this. Thanks to your meddling, Mackie's gone missing, and he was close to something. Something we could use. Missing? What do you mean, missing? He was supposed to check in hours ago. Our plans have now changed. You'll be accompanying us back into Innsmouth, Mr. Walters, on a small-scale raid. Our target? The Marsh Refinery. Oh, yeah. You know what? No, I'll join Hoover with this. <clears throat> I'm not your lapdog, Hoover. It's Hoover. I don't work for the it Bureau. Hoover. I will work with Hoover. Look at this man. Really? Really, Doc? I'll spit in your face. 
Was that necessary? I'm not in the business of making requests, Mr. Walters. Or have you forgotten your past so quickly? A signature here, a signature there, and we can make you a permanent fixture of this delightful establishment. I could even arrange for you to have your old room back. Fuck you. Good night, Mr. Walters. Bruh. Pleasant dreams. Stop punching me. Uh, the feds, February 8th, 1922, night. During my interrogation, it became apparent that the FBI has been watching Innsmouth for some time. Mackey was the Bureau's inside man, now he's missing as well. Hoover and his boys are going to mount a raid on the Marsh Refinery, and I'm invited, whether I want to go or not. As if I haven't been through enough in the last 24 hours. I tried to tell Hoover what's waiting for them in that refinery, what's lurking beneath the surface of the town, but he didn't believe me. I can't say I'm surprised, I wouldn't believe me either, if I hadn't seen it for myself. He did not say anything in that, in that fucking cutscene about anything. He just like spat in Hoover's face and got mad about it. Hoover hasn't seen what I've seen. From the questions Hoover asked me, the Bureau knows next to nothing about Innsmouth or the refinery, even though the FBI has been watching Innsmouth for some time. It's not surprising since it cut itself off from the outside world more than 50 years ago and no one outside of Innsmouth's been inside the refinery since then. I guess Mackie didn't tell him that, or didn't tell him much, or he didn't believe Mackie any more than he believed me. Hoover thinks the old gold refinery is the main source of wealth for the Marsh family and is the base of some kind of criminal gang. Is that too far off? He figures that a lot more gold comes out of the mill than is possible from the amounts of raw ore they buy, and he wants to know why. I guess I thought things were pretty simple too when I first came to Innsmouth, now I envy him in his ignorance. I must have been a sight when they found me. They certainly loaded me up with sedatives. They've almost worn off now, but I'm feeling drained. Wish I could blame the drugs for the dreams I had while I was out, but they were just like the dreams from the other night at the Gilman Hotel. The dreams just keep on getting clearer, more like memories. I'm getting fleeting images of other things, too. They just seem to pop up from somewhere in my mind for no apparent reason. And I have no idea what they mean, except that I need to keep a grip on myself. I don't want a return trip to the Arkham Asylum. The raid is set for tomorrow. I'd give anything to avoid going back to that town. The feds handed me back Ruth's brooch, which they found in the wreckage of the car crash. Another painful memory. Let's go. Come on. Oh yeah, this is definitely a fed car. Look at this. Look at this. You literally just hit your parking here, dummy. Walters. Your profile shows that you're a man to be trusted, even allowing for your stint in the nut house. I packed you with armaments. I demand your complete cooperation. Our reconnaissance reports have confirmed Sebastian Marsh, the manager of the refinery, will be out of town on business. He's left his son Jacob in charge of operations. We won't get a better chance to launch this raid. Our mission is to capture Jacob Marsh. He may be our only chance to get under the skin of the Marsh family. We must secure him alive. I don't think that's going to work out the way that you want it to. Even with Sebastian away, we expect the refinery to be heavily guarded. I'll fill you in with more details when we have breached the main doors. Jack, you better stay in the car while my agents secure the entrance. Okay, this is what's going to happen. They're going to try and they're all going to die. Even Hoover. Get in your positions, agents. Keep sight of the loading. You see them up on top? They're already up top. On the roof. Sustain your fire. Take them down. Come on, Hoover. Oh, they have an MG truck in there, don't Hold they? Hold your fire, Cooper. Get those damn doors open. MG truck, MG truck. They're all gonna die. No, wait! Cooper! Take cover! Get clear of the 
Kajak, now! Yeah, let's go, Hoover. Yeah. For God's sake, Cooper, get your men out of there. They're sitting ducks. Nonsense. We'll lay down some covering fire. You get your ass up there and show us what you can do. What? You heard me. Now go! We'll get cut to pieces if you stay out here much longer. Sustain your fire. Hold your position, agents. Damn it. I tried. I tried. I did. I really tried. I got there. I got almost there. They weren't sustaining fire long enough. Oh my god. I gotta go through the whole driving sequence. Ah! I'll pause until I get back to where I was. Alright, I'm getting out of the car now. That's legitimately a two minute sequence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For God's sake, Hoover, get your men out of there. They're sitting ducks. Nonsense. We'll lay down some covering fire. You get your ass up there and show us what you can do. What? You heard me. Now go! Hold your positions, agents. I took too many shots there. That's what I'll do. I'll, I'll heal two of them and I'll hope that the other two become bandageable. The big doors are giving them too much protection. I can't hit him from here. I'm gonna try going this way Take too. Take him Do I have any of my own? Okay, all I have is my pistol. We'll get cut to pieces if you stay out here much longer. No use. He's down. The area is clear. There's nothing to target. Oh, that's not a good sign. It's a floor-mounted automatic rifle. Nothing of interest. It's locked. Well done, Jack. Wait by me while my men secure the area. Check reception. It's locked, sir. Break it down, then secure the area. I want Marsh alive. Everything else is a viable target. Fall out. Understood, sir. See, he has a name, so he won't die okay, as easily. Hoover. What's the plan? I want to know where the hell they're getting all this gold. Come on. Let's take a look around. Child sacrifice. The desk drawers. It's some sort of timetables and general notices. Nothing of interest. Is that my shoddy? That's my shoddy. The elevator. What the hell was that noise? It came from somewhere below. I don't know where you are, Hoover. I don't know where Hoover is, because he's telling me, follow me, Jack. But I'm like, I don't I don't know where you are. Where are you? Do you see him? This way the fuck over there. God, what the hell now? What the hell? What happened down there, Agent? Did you find Marsh? What the fuck? Good job. What are you staring at, Jack? He was just a field agent. He knew the risks. You literally the killed him. The power's been cut from the elevator. 
It must have been shut down from the mains. You try the next floor down. See if you can find the generator. I'll secure this floor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going up the floor. They have a uh, loot up here, so. Hey, look, the generators. For the elevator. Let's see. It won't open. It won't open. Nothing of interest here. Nothing of interest here. Hoover's not doing anything. The door's bolted shut. Door's bolted shut, so if I get in there on the other side, it will be open. So I'm glad I came up here though, because now I got a full band-aid stash. Okay, but I gotta go all the way over here to the sub-level, I think. What does that say? That also has sublevel access. I'll go to this sublevel access. The stairs, Jack. Get moving. Shut up. I'll shoot you myself, Hoover. If you weren't so important to existence, I wouldn't shoot. I would shoot you right now. Uh oh. Help. Okay. Okay, let's see. So the generator is that way. What was that? Fuck. I don't hear anybody sneaking up on me, so. Well, I just pick up. A metal waste crate. Nothing of interest. Yeah, I should be able to hide in there. Resident Evil 4 style, you know? You know what? You know what? I'm at that point. I'm going to end this episode right here. So I will see everybody in the next time. We'll explore the rest of this sub-level. Bye-bye.